Okay, and uh, we have other uh, volunteers that we'd like to uh, honor uh, right now. And uh, uh, we have um, Pat from Figlio. Decorates the uh, mantle, and he uh, does that you know, year round. I'm surprised to see the mantle is still as I like it. <laughs> I fully expected it would be all gone, and the photographs would be displayed there. So we have a combination of the mantle and the photographs. Thank you. Okay. And, uh, Anybody Sylvia? want to take over? <laughs> My wife volunteered me many years ago, and uh, we were at a meeting, and the librarian at the time said, uh, Mrs. Lamb has been decorating our fireplace for many, many years, and now she can't do it anymore. She's very, very ill. Uh, would anyone here be interested? And all of a sudden, I realized my wife is pointing her finger. <laughs> and the librarian says, Pat, you want to do that? And she says, yes, he'll do a good job. <laughs> So you have. Now Sylvia Barastro. Is, uh, she's uh, works on the newsletter and is instrumental in uh, getting the newsletter out to the uh, to all the people. We have a, a student volunteer, uh, Nick uh, Cooter. Volunteers. Okay. We have uh, Kim Yam and uh, Jen mm -hmm. Yam. To Stephanie, we had the annual library essay contest, and those who were interested were asked to write about why I love my library. Um, I w I've been involved with this a few years, and I have to say, at least this year, everyone wrote about this library. <laughs> Other years, so many students entered and they told us all about their school libraries. <laughs> And unfortunately, they had to be disqualified. We were talking about this library. There were several categories, the K-3 category, the 4-6 category, 7-9, to nine, and the adult. Uh, we had a lot of entries, but we always looked for more. We're always left a little bit disappointed, saying, no, there should have been more. Especially from the high school. Uh, we have to really give them a poke up there and say, we want more entries from the high school. You're supposed to be practicing writing. Here's a great way to, to practice writing, rather than just some theme that the teacher talks about. This is real. It's the library right here. Do you use it? Why do you like it? Tell us. Okay. 
Uh, then the K3 category, the winner is Jaya Kleinberg. <laughs> I have here just a little quotation from each essay, and I'll tell you just a little bit about the student. Jaya is a second grade student, and she enjoys reading the Nancy Drew mysteries. Uh, this was taken from her writing. I love learning about different people right from a book. They have all kinds of books here. You never know what you're going to find. The library can be a wonderful place to just relax and to sit down with a good book. I love the Sorbdes Library so much. All thanks to books and reading books. Very nice. Good job. I'm going to leave this for you to all set it right here, okay, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. Okay, from the grade four to six category, uh, Melissa is the winner. Melissa Verge. <laughs> Melissa is a fifth grade student. She's currently exploring the world of Harry Potter. She says, she writes, every employee is very helpful and helps me to find a good book. There are also toys to play with. You can also win prizes for different contests. And they have a summer reading program. We loved her ending. So go and check it out. <laughs> We were told that Stephanie Kaufman, the next winner, could not be here. She is here. Very nice, you made it. Okay, the winner from, from the grade 7 to 9 category is Stephanie Kaufman. And Stephanie participates in many of the team programs here at the library. And she also has volunteered her time here. Just a, a sentence or two from her writing. The programs at the library are fun, and I can meet people, and I can make new friends. Make new friends such as Tiffany. Tiffany is the director of the team program here. Congratulations. Okay. okay. Congratulations. Jay. Jay Caffrey is just telling me that. That, uh, Steph Stephanie's aunt was also a student volunteer here some years ago. Some years ago, and very good. And a very good student. Aunt Barbie. <laughs> aunt Barbie. I don't know. Maybe some of you know Aunt Barbie. Okay, the uh, adult winner could not be here and was very, very upset that she, not that she won, she was happy she won, but she couldn't be here. Uh, it was Amanda Tachula, and Amanda teaches at Sargadis High School. She visits the library multiple times a week. I think some of the students know her. They're sitting there. And uh, she often comes with her three young sons. And this is from Amanda's writing. The books are contemporary and plentiful, and the atmosphere is warm and inviting. Amanda writes that her three children have a pure joy and love of the library. And she says, I foresee many years of fun at the Sorgates Public Library. In her absence,